So then, now we've seen how to consume a context in a component and we can access this shared state or data. But what if at some point we want to change this data? How would we go about doing that? Well, what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is create a third component, first of all, and call this theme toggle.js. And the purpose of this component is just to output a button so that a user can click it to change the theme. So what they'll be doing is changing the value of this, toggling it between true and false, so that when it's false, we see the dark theme, and when it's true, we see the light theme. So let's now import React and a component, and then we'll say CC and tap to create that component. This is going to be called theme toggle, and we don't need the state because we're going to be consuming the context and using the function from this context later on. And inside here, we'll just return for now down here some JSX, which is going to be a button. And inside that button, we'll just say, or rather not click me, toggle the theme. And we need this to have some kind of on-click event handler. Now that is going to be set to a function later on, which is going to toggle the theme. So let me just save this for now and return back to theme context. We want to toggle this from true to false, or if it's false, from false to true. Now that function needs to live inside this class right here, because we might want to pass that function down to different components, which then want to interact with the state to change the theme. So let us now define that function right here. I'm going to call it toggle theme and set it equal to an arrow function. And then inside this function, we just want to say this dot set state to update the state over here that we have. And we want to change is light theme. And what we want to do is toggle it so that it's the opposite of what it currently is. So all we need to do is say exclamation mark is light theme and that's going to basically reverse it. If it's true, it turns it to false. If it's false, it turns it to true. So that's all the function needs to do. Just toggle that one property in the state. And then obviously, as the state is updated and this data changes, the value that we pass into the provider changes. And therefore, the components which consume this context is going to show that updated data or rather get that updated data and do something with it. So now I also want to pass this down as a property inside this object right here. We currently have all the properties from this dot state. But now I want to do a comma to add another property, and it's going to be a function called toggle theme. That's the property name. You don't have to call it the same as this, but I just think it's wise to do so. And then that's going to be set equal to this dot toggle theme. So this refers to the component itself, and then toggle theme, which is this function we just defined right here. So now we're passing that down into this object as well in the value property so that hopefully now we should have access to this function inside any component which consumes this context. So let me now go to theme toggle because now what I'd like to do is consume that context over here and get access to that function so that we can toggle the theme from this component. So I'll say static and then context type is equal to theme context and that's going to auto import it for me up here then i just need to do a bit of destructuring to get the toggle theme function from that context object so i'll say const and then toggle theme is going to be equal to this dot context so i'm just destructuring this property from this dot context which we now have access to because we passed it down right here so now on the on click event i can just say toggle theme to run that function. So we need to render this component now. So let's go to app.js and we want to put it underneath the book list. So let me say now theme toggle and it auto imports that at the top for me right here. And let's save this and cross our fingers. Hope it works. We do see some kind of error is light theme is not defined. OK, and that's because if we go to theme context, we need to say this dot state dot is light theme because obviously this on its own is not a property we need to say this dot state to get the state and then the is light theme property from that okay so now if we save it it should work if i try to toggle the theme cool everything works so that's how we can interact with the data and change it all we do is define a function inside this class 
which can edit the state and then we can pass that function into the value property of the provider therefore when we consume the context we can have access to that function and do something with it